Hey, what's up? I'm Rafael Di Furia, aka Rafi D is me, and I am coming back to you on another beautiful Friday night from my glorious, huge, gigantic, spacious kitchen. Oh, it's so, it's so, it's so glorious. Anyway, this week we're going to be doing something a little bit different. By the title of this video, I'm sure you can guess maybe what that might be. Last week there was a video released by another person here in Italy who makes videos, and her channel is more focused on learning Italian. Her channel is called Learning Italian with Lucrezia. And last week she happened to release a video about making coffee in a mocha pot, something like one of these. But there is something that a lot of people do. The way that she made it was very popular. And Lucrezia, I doubt you're watching this, but if you are watching this, I'm not going to say that you did it wrong, but I'm going to say that there is a better way of making coffee with a mocha pot. So in general, what a lot of people will do is they'll just get their mocha pot and they'll put the water directly in and then they'll put the coffee inside of the little coffee little, what's it called? and then they just put it directly onto the stove. However, there can be an issue with that. But first, before we get too much deeper into the video, if you would like to see more content like this about moving to Italy, Italian dual citizenship, and living life abroad, please be sure to subscribe with that notification bell turned on. And if you could also give this video a like, I would really appreciate it, as it does help out the channel grow. And if you'd like to help out the channel in another way, feel free to share this video with your friends on social media, WhatsApp, email, however you guys keep in contact. And for those of you who would like to help make more videos like this possible on a monthly basis, you can go to rafaeldifuria.com slash Patreon, or to just help out one time, you can go to rafaeldifuria.com slash support. And of course, Italy is not just about the pizza pasta and amore. Of course, shirts are available and linked down in the more info section below, but that's a whole separate thing. But coffee is a huge part of the culture here. And for those of you who don't know what a mocha pot is, it's just a way of making espresso coffee at home. It's very similar to what you would get in the store. It's not the same thing because those big espresso machines are working with much higher pressures and generally the water is a little bit hotter, which is one of the reasons why they can make coffee so quickly. So this is roughly the same idea, but just a lot smaller. And that you can do at home. And it's a much less expensive alternative to getting one of those coffee pot systems. One of the things that you also wanna make sure of is that the coffee is ground fine enough for espresso coffee. If it's not ground just the right way, it's not gonna come up through the mocha pot in just the right way and it's just, it's not gonna be a good experience. In Italy, finding a mocha pot is very, very simple, but if you are not in Italy, I'll try to include some links below where you might be able to find a stainless steel mocha pot. But anyway, let's get into the real nitty gritty of the right way of making coffee with a mocha pot. But first, let's talk about the different parts of the mocha pot. You have the base reservoir for all the water. Mocha pots have a valve because you are actually using pressure to push the water up through the coffee and then in to the final area where the coffee is kept. Again, as I was saying, what a lot of people do is they just put the water in here and they put the coffee in and then they just put it on top of the stove and then they just let it rip. But what I would say is actually, that's going to probably produce a much more bitter cup of coffee. And that's something that, okay, there are people who like that, but personally, I can't stand bitter coffee. So what you could do is you could heat up the water first inside of the base of your mocha pot. But I think that's actually going to make one step further on down the line a little bit more difficult because of the heat. So what I like to do is I just like to heat up the water in a pan first. And so just get a little bit of water. I mean, this is not really rocket science here. Also, part of what's going to lead to a much more bitter cup of coffee will be the way that you store your coffee. Of course, in an ideal world, you grind your beans and you just use those on the spot, but a lot of people end up buying packaged coffee or pre-ground coffee at their local coffee roastery. But if you wanna stretch out your coffee and make it last a little bit longer before it goes completely bitter, before you even get it into the mocha pot, you can just put it in a glass container or something and then put it in your refrigerator and that will kind of help things stay for a little while longer. Not so much longer, but it'll help you conserve a little bit more. And just while we're waiting for the water to pre-boil, and yes, I'm saying boil the water separately from the mocha pot. But one thing that might actually help the flavor taste a little bit better is to get a stainless steel mocha pot rather than an aluminum mocha pot, especially because after a while, the aluminum will just start to break down and you'll taste it and it'll become gritty and metally, but you may not notice it right away because it will slowly, slowly, slowly build up over time. But even if you get a stainless steel mocha pot, the insert will still almost always be aluminum. 
but thankfully you can get new inserts and then once you've used it a few too many times you can just replace this part or if it breaks it's possible to replace also if you're living in Italy replacing these parts is actually in general very easy you can just go to a regular supermarket and they just have these just right inside and along with every different type of coffee that you can even think of and some places have huge coffee sections some places have smaller sections I was just editing the video but to kind of illustrate my point that I was just making I thought you know maybe I would just run out for a few minutes just to show you at a regular supermarket it's possible to get these things so let's go check it out and this is just like a regular average supermarket it is inside of a mall but it's a just a normal supermarket so as I was mentioning coffee like packaged coffee you can get very very easily but if we're talking about the actual parts like the replacement parts you, they usually keep those in a separate section and here we are so here you can get all the different mocha products these are generally made from aluminum when you go to a regular supermarket you have funnels handles filters and gaskets it's all super easy to get and there's tons of them all over the place but if you don't live here in Italy it's still possible to get these things there they exist it's just maybe you might have to order it online well I couldn't go with just coming away empty-handed I mean sometimes you just you need a little chocolate and now back to the regular schedule with Rafi back to you Rafi also one of the things that's going to help you get a better tasting cup of coffee is the way that you pack the bowl there's no real clean way to do this and you're going to get coffee grounds all over the place but uh, if your coffee is a little bit cooler, pro tip, you can actually just push the holder into the coffee and it'll mostly stay. You'll have to clean up the outside a little bit and pack a little bit of extra coffee on the top, but that helps you get the right amount of pressure and the right amount of coffee packed into this little holder. To this little holder. Funnel, Rafi, funnel, funnel. Such a simple word. Of course, the other thing that's going to make a difference in how your coffee comes out is how it's packed in there. You want the coffee to come just below the edge of the lip and just slightly pack down, not too much. You don't want to really force it in there. And now until the water boils, we can just set this kind of off to the side. You can put it in a little cup or a shot glass or just let it stand on its own. But if it won't stand on its own, it is safe to just lay it on its side if you've packed it well enough. If you've packed it too loosely, then the flavor is just not going to be right but if you've packed it too tightly the water is not going to be able to get up and what that's going to do is that's going to cook the coffee longer than it needs to be and that's also going to be what gives you that more bitter flavor and that's one of the reasons why in lucrezia's video which is one of the more popular ways of doing mocha pot coffee is that by boiling the water with the coffee already in the mocha pot you have more of a chance of building up that bitterness that just is really not pleasant unless you like that and of course mocha pots come in all different sizes you can even get big party ones that are they're more for show than really anything but you can get mocha pots that are for single servings for a couple of servings um, you can get 15 20 servings they come in all different sizes and uh, there are a number of different companies that make them there's one popular company that makes them but the problem is that i've seen is that a lot of the mocha pots that they have are made from aluminum as i was mentioning before the problem with aluminum is that after a while it just starts tasting horrible it becomes gritty and metally tasting to be getting all of that aluminum in your body's I, that can't be healthy <laughs> if you're tasting it there's got to be something that's going into you i would think but hey i'm not a doctor all right so this next part here could be a little dangerous so you don't want to burn yourself make sure you have an oven mitt and that will make life a lot easier you want to make sure that your water is really boiling that is as hot as you can make it because part of the way that the drink the coffee drink is produced is by the water boiling and pushing up through the coffee into the next chamber and so if you get the water as hot as it will go before you put it into the mocha pot then that will make that part of the process much faster so then of course leaving less time for the coffee to become bitter when you're filling up the base of your mocha pot be sure not to fill it up beyond this point but you don't want to fill it much more than that because then when it pushes up all of the coffee will just spill everywhere so now that we have this we just pour it in again being careful the camera died at that point i don't know what happened exactly but just one quick little piece of information just to fill in this little part here 
it's important that when you're screwing on the top to the base that you have a nice tight seal. Otherwise, when the coffee is boiling up and pushing up, it'll come out of the sides in the middle rather than up into the center in the top chamber. Then eventually, it's just gonna start pouring out of the spigot inside. You just wait until it gets up a little bit. But at this point, you could turn your heat off and you can take the coffee off. If you're doing it on a gas stove, take it off the gas for a little while. But then if it really slows down too much, you can put it back on the fire for a little bit because you want it to be hot, but not too hot. If it's too hot, that again, that's going to help the coffee to become more bitter. It's all about just balancing out all of these different factors and eventually it'll start tasting okay. And now we are at the end. That's it. You have now got yourself a nice, beautiful, piping hot cup of Italian mud water. Cheers. And if you get it right, it doesn't even taste bitter. Of course, you can add sugar. Some people even add a little bit of cocoa. I personally add a lot. But anyway, if you would like to see more videos like this about moving to Italy, Italian dual citizenship, and just living life abroad, please be sure to subscribe with that notification bell turned on. And if you could also give this video a like, I would really appreciate it. And if you'd like to help make more videos like this possible on a monthly basis, you can go to rafaeldifuria.com slash Patreon. Or if you want to help out just once, you can go to rafaeldifuria.com slash support. Or if you'd like to help out the channel in a different way, please feel free to share this video with your friends. But anyway, thank you so much for joining me on another beautiful Friday night. I hope you all enjoyed this video. And I look forward to seeing you all next, actually Tuesday, hopefully keep an eye out for a video next Tuesday I'm hoping 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 <laughs> fingers crossed to release one next Tuesday as well as next Friday again I'm trying to do every other Tuesday but continuing with every Friday eventually maybe every Tuesday and Friday but let's see how it goes anyway I hope you all have a fantastic weekend as always I'm Rafael Di Furia aka Rafi D is me thank you for joining me on another beautiful Friday night and I look forward to seeing you all next time later